hey guys and welcome to this exciting tutorial and today we're going to be learning how to create this really cool kinetic creative text in after effects without the use of any plugins or any other third-party programs and um, yeah this one is going to be very very simple so without wasting any time let's get right to it so with after effects open we're going to create a new composition I'm going to name this to main and my resolution is 1920 by 1080 frame rate of 30 and my duration is 5 seconds and that's good I'm going to create another composition again and I'm going to name this to text and the, um, the settings is exactly the same as the previous one so we're just gonna hit OK um, yeah so Firstly, we're going to start off in our text composition. So making sure that that text is selected, we're going to um, type in our word and make sure that your, your, your text is set to white and then your size of your text is 145 pixels. And yeah, so you can change the color over on that block here. I'm going to set mine to white. So cool. Let's type in our word. I'm going to name mine kinetic like so. I'm going to move this to the center so let's click on the um, action save this thing here and um, look for the align and then click on my kinetic text and click on this thing and this little gimmicky here and as you can see our text is in the middle now so I'm happy we can just remove this thing right now we can go back to our main comp and drag in our text comp into the main actually no let's let's go back to the text comp and just resize our composition to match the height of the text so composition settings and um, move well like or with the knob just drag to the left and make sure that your 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 height matches the text so let's start 500 doesn't really work out well let's just reduce it again to maybe like a 200 uh, so you can keep on playing around here so I'm just gonna keep on putting random numbers to make sure that my text is closer to to the edge of the composition so let's make it 120 this time and this looks okay so let me just zoom in to make sure and it's not quite there yet so let's go back to our composition settings I'm going to just readjust again until my text is fully fully close so you can keep on readjusting your text until it can sort of like touch the the edge of your your text without cutting your text because so far I can see it's cutting off my text so let's make it like 112 I think that should be fine and hit OK and yeah this looks fine this is absolutely perfect so 112 is awesome so now we can go back to our main comp and then drag our text into the main comp like so and we also want to make sure that we pre-compose this text comp so right click and pre-compose and we're going to name this to pattern and move all attributes and then yeah that's okay uh, next up we're going to double click on our pattern and then go on this text and press R to open rotation and then click on this thing here make sure that it's 90 degrees and then it will like lift up and look like that awesome so now we just want to add another effect or the first effect actually on our text comp so effects and presets look for the motion tile this one here we're just going to double click on the motion tile to add it to our text comp and then change just one thing on this effect which is um what are we going to change our output height so we're just going to drag this to the right until we can touch the edges um actually let's make it like 1700 yeah i think that's fine it touches yeah it just make sure that it just touches the edges so that's perfect now we're just going to go to our main comp and uh, put our second effect on the pattern pre comp here so we're going to search for the CC cylinder so this will give our our composition that cylindrical feel so let's just double click and then it looks like that so we almost there we almost done 
now we're just going to change a couple of things yeah so if you go in the position of our effect um, we can just change let's first change the z position to maybe 160 because we want to zoom it in a little bit because it looks like so further out so um let's make it minus 160 and then it sort of like zooms in a bit so that that's that's good and um the the next thing is to go to our rotation and animate a couple of things there so the x rotation is what we're going to change first so we're going to make this maybe what's the best one so let's just turn this maybe a 40 because 28 is not doing the thing so 40 yeah that looks fine we'll come back to the y in a bit so let's go to the z rotation and make sure that it's sitting upright so make sure that's like 90 degrees so minus 90 degrees and it should be sitting right up nicely great now we just want to make sure that our text is rotating so we're going to hold out and then click on the y stopwatch here and then uh, go to our text box here and um, type time uh, star 25 right and this will make sure that our text or our effect will start rotating for the whole five seconds without us not having to use you know keyframes or anything so yeah so our animation is very much done but there's also a couple of things that we just need to add which is our light so lights and shadows so let's just reduce the light intensity to maybe 90 and we also want to play around with our light direction the light height looks a bit fine actually it's fine let's just leave it so light direction we're going to change it to minus 25 so let's just keep on moving to there we go and we just need more actually we need more shadows so let's go in here we're going to change uh, so we've got our ambient we've got our diffuse we've got specular roughness and metal we don't need any metal here so let's just remove this to zero and then actually we might need diffuse so let's increase our diffuse to the max so let's make it a hundred and voila our animation is complete so yeah we're very much done uh and there's also a couple of things that you can do here you know the you're free to do whatever so we can even change the the color of our text here so if you go to your text and um let's look for our, uh, character let's go to here character and then you can just make sure you can just double click on this first and just change this color to a different color a red green yellow whichever color you want and click ok if you go back to the main you can see that it sort of like automatically readjust the color as well you can even change the name as well of your text to whatever it is you want so we can change from my from kinetic to maybe cool and it will also register again to the main comp and like that see so yeah the choice is yours you can do whatever you want you can add a different background you can you can do whatever that you, that you need to do you can add even like a glow effect if you want but i feel like a glow just over it's like overkill so this is pretty much good so yeah so let me just like really change this to the original settings and yeah we're good and yeah guys i hope you found this tutorial very helpful if you did don't forget to leave a like and comment in the section below also remember to subscribe if you haven't already and yeah with that see you next time